What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys. They always say that, uh, that uh, uh, a picture tells a thousand words. Well, this particular one is no different. This is from NASA, and I believe this one basically shoots themselves in the foot with this photo. Um, it, it screams um, that Mars is a lot like Earth today. Uh, this the particular panorama was actually put together. It was uh, compiled from SOLS uh, 287 to 294. And uh, it's from Endurance Crater. Uh, and I believe it's from Burns Cliff. And basically the Opportunity Rover drives into this thing and actually takes a, a picture or a photo of this particular cliff area. Or this inside wall of the Endurance Crater. Um, and what got me sparked is was that my buddy, uh, Billy, Coach Billy, on his site, and I'll show you that right now. If you just go on Facebook, look for uh, Mars Discoveries and Solar System Anomalies. Um, and, of course, there's the, the banner picture from his uh, Facebook page. Uh, check it out. Somebody had put this particular picture on there, and I said, wait a minute, I've got this picture. And I was going to do this a while back. Let me go in there and check my external hard drives, and it took me about 15 minutes, but I did find it. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, anyway, here's the picture that you'll get. Um, and you can go right to this, and, of course, you guys will get all the links to this, so don't sweat that. Um, here's the picture itself. Which is pretty cool. It's a it's a really cool picture. Um, let me see, just go in here a bit more, and you can just see that's just cool. Um, it's a really good picture. I think this says there's com again compiled of like 46 photos to make this panorama. And it's supposed to be 180 degrees, um, but they say because of the way the camera is um, that this actually looks more flat. I think it's more concave than it is convex. Um, this is this is like more of a convex where they say this is the camera. I always thought the camera eye would be different. Like the sides would be more in and that would be more out. But I'm not a technician by any stretch of the means, so I don't claim to be. Um, but this is what I find a little little off here. Um, now you guys can read all of this. I just you know basically told you guys. I think it says uh, NASA's Mars Expl Exploration Rover Opportunity captured this view of Burns Cliff after driving right to the base of the south uh, southeastern portion of the inner wall of Endurance Crater. The, uh, the view combines frames taken by Opportunity's panoramic camera between the rover's uh, 287th and 294th Martian days. And there you go, November 13th to 20, 2004. Now, guys, you know how long this Opportunity's been on there. It's, it's, it's thousands of days on there now. It's over 3,000 days. So you get the idea that this thing has basically just stretched its legs. It's taken a look around. This was not very soon after that. Um... And, you know, they're talking about different filters that this thing used. I don't know why they don't just use a standard camera, take a picture with the lens, man. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. They just, it's almost like anytime there's a picture that's false, they try to baffle people with bullshit. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but they try to baffle you. Um, you can go ahead and just put the large, get the large uh, photo um, in the best, you know, the biggest and largest uh, photo from that. Uh, this I found pretty interesting, too. Clouds over endurance. Now, what they do is they try, <laughs> this is great, they try to break down, um, you know, what it is, and, you know, uh, these clouds are part of a band that forms near the equator uh, when Mars is near the part of its orbit that is farthest from the sun. I don't know why that matters um, uh, for opportunity and spare in the rest of the southern hemisphere. This occurs in late fall and early winter. Now here, now I could be wrong, uh, this can happen anytime. You know, it's like fair weather clouds. I mean, you get a little bit of moisture in the air, and that's what you get. You get these cirrus clouds. Um, so now, you go on, you can just drop down here a bit. Uh, these clouds look like Earth's cirrus clouds and share other similarities with uh, cirrus clouds in that they are believed to be composed entirely, keep in mind, entirely of water ice crystals, uh, particles rather, I was going to say crystals, uh, with sizes in the order of uh, several mi micrometers or a few ten thousandths of an inch. Now, when they say cirrus clouds, well, here's cirrus clouds taken here on Earth. Uh, big time similarity here. I don't think Mars is that much different today as they claim. I think it's a lot like Earth, and I'm going to show you that a little bit more. This is, they talk about right here, there's the same picture where they had to filter it out so you didn't have this big glare, supposedly from the sun, which makes no sense. And I'm going to tell you that in a minute, why that makes no sense. Uh, because we can go by the sundial on the opportunity. So, speaking of sundials, this is funny. Frost on Mars Rover Opportunity. Okay, let's have a look at that picture, which is down here. Now, call me stupid here, guys, but this looks like... The one on the right looks like the real picture. The one on the left looks like a negative. 
or kind of tweaked out negative, if you will. Um, if you noticed, a lot of these pictures, or a lot of these areas on here, like what's dark, like right here on this cable, it's lighter over here. It's like they try to tweak it out, and you can notice that it almost looks like a negative, and they just, it's a, like I said, a tweaked out negative, if you will. I don't believe that. I, I just, I don't know. And if the ground was frosted as well, why wouldn't that be just as light as it is in the right picture? Why wouldn't it be the same way in the left if it was all frost on the ground? Doesn't make sense to me. I'm not seeing anything as far as, um, you know, where the sundial is. You can see this one here clearly where the sun direction. Of course, it doesn't tell you that. Um, but regardless, you don't see it in there anywhere. I think that's a little odd. A little, But you can read the whole thing. Talk about water vapor and... I like this one too. This one's funny. Angle layers on uh, in super resolution. Hmm. Super resolution. I'm seeing distortion. I'm seeing what are these funky lines in there? It looks like an error in the picture. See them? Uh, makes no sense. Look back here. There's actually some funky looking. Back here on the upper left, looks like some kind of weird shapes and stuff like that going on in the back. Uh, I think this is hardly a, a high resolution picture, but you know, look at this. What the hell is that? Look at the way that thing's stacked. How about this one here, floating off the ground? I mean, I just just look at the picture, man. Look at this. How is that? A, that is just goofy. See it? Just floating off the ground. I don't know. Anything's possible, I guess. But anyway, let's jump off of that one. And we don't need that one anymore. Um, okay. So let's get back to this. Now, you can see these cirrus clouds, and I did show you these here. I don't know about you guys, but there's a huge similarity to that. We can go ahead and click on that and check that out. Now, the saying that the, there was a uh, you know distortion from the light of the sun, but the sun's actually on the right. Now, I don't know if that's east, southwest. I forget what it is now. But it's supposed to be brighter on this side. Now, let me show you guys something I think you'll find pretty pretty wild. In the midst of all this garbage here that's, that's here. Let's see if I can find it again. Mm, yeah, you can see these little pieces just coming off that just don't look like rocks. There's actually there's actually a better resolution picture. See to me, I found one before, and it has like these pieces going across. And you can see these other lines coming down, but that's neither here nor there. I wanted to show you the clouds. Now let's jump into this picture because this is great. This is the picture you'll be getting. Uh, let's jump into that, and here it is. Now, first of all, again, I told you this photo says a thousand words. Now, if you were to go to, you guys can do this on your own. Go to Image, go to Adjustments, and you can hit Auto. Now, watch what happens to this picture. The problem is that's not the real color. Although it looks pretty darn good, that's not the real color. If you were to break this down, do the red. I'm going to show you this right now. Do the green. And I'm just going to do this real quickly, but I'm going to show you the end result I come out with. Looks awfully blue to me, guys. If you do it by the real deal here, that's what it really looks like. So let's get rid of the crap color, and there you go. Um, and here's the funny part. This is what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. First of all, a couple things kind of caught my eye and kind of got me thinking. If, and I'm going to go back to this right here, if these wispy clouds were between, it was on Sol 290, and this one here I believe said it was 291. Yeah, 291. If that's in fact true, okay, why don't you see them in this picture? Because it's supposed to be between 287 and 294. Why don't you see these wispy clouds in this particular picture? Secondly, they showed like this big light area where it says it was like a distortion from the light. But if you look at this, this sundial, the sun is coming from the right. And you can see that plainly in that sundial. See that? It's coming over here. So the sun is, in fact, coming from the back. Now, a couple cool things you'll notice on here. When this thing rolled over the ground, you can see what looks like a couple shapes sticking out, like right here. Look at this. Like this piece right here. And, of course, it's kind of buried. You can't see the rest of it. Kind of weird how that just happened to break out of the ground when this thing rolled over it. How about this thing right here? Kind of looks like it has like almost like a shape like this here. Whoop, went over a little too much with that, but you can see where it kind of looks like it goes up, comes over, comes back down, almost has this piece here. And of course, I'm just going to do this quickly. No big deal. But yeah, I mean, just a couple little funky things in here, you know, nothing major, of course. Um, okay. There's actually what looks like 
I'm going to cover each thing, and so just bear with me here. Right off the bat, there's a, either a petrified tree, log, or whatever you want to call it, sitting right here on the hillside. <laughs> so that shows that there was trees there, and it couldn't have been all that long ago. Um, in fact, it may not be that long ago at all, but that, to me, looks like a, uh, a petrified log, a tree, part of a tree, call it what you will. Does it look like rock? I guess it could be to a certain degree, but that looks like a tree to me. And if you look at it this way, it still looks the same. But we just got rid of the actual crap color in it. Okay. Um, there's something else that was in here I want to show you. Right here, this is kind of funky. I've never seen a rock do this. Maybe you guys have. Look at the way this thing goes down like this here inside. And you can see this a little bit better, believe it or not, because I did this the way I did it. Um... You can actually see it a hair bit better. Now, I don't know what causes that and what does that, but this, again, people will say, they'll argue the point, well, see, this is Earth. This is the reason why it's blue sky. Or are they BSing us into thinking that, uh, you know, Mars is this red, ugly, barren planet? I think the latter of the two. I don't think this is Earth at all, and I believe 100%. Well, I'm going to say 99%. I've always said that, 99%, because there's always a chance that we're just being entirely duped. But at this point, I don't believe we are. I believe this is actual manipulation, and they're trying to disguise... Look, at here's a perfect example. Look at it. Boom. They're trying to disguise whatever the hell is laying here. Um, here's another crazy thing I don't know if you guys noticed. Now, this is inside the crater. Now, there's another picture, and I've seen... A while back, that over, if you were to go jump over this wall onto the other side, there's a big flat area in the back, and it looks like it had like a grayed out area, if you will, if you got rid of the crap color. Um, and it looked like it had water there. So, is it possible now that what you're seeing coming down here is actually this water? Whoops, my bad. Is it possible that's what that is? Because you can see this stuff running down, and you can see it in multiple areas. See it? So is it water coming out from the other side on the top uh, on the top of this? If you, like, again, if you jumped over this wall onto this flat ground, is it water seeping through the ground coming through these rocks? Well, wannabe rocks, if you will. Um, but I have a problem with that, too. And I'm going to show you that. And I'm just going to give you these ideas, guys, so you guys can analyze this yourselves. When you look at these particular areas, these grayed-out areas, um, a couple of things come to my mind. First of all, it looks like manipulation. It looks like it's been put there. Um... Here's a good example right here. Oops, my bad. Check this area out. It looks false to me. Right here, this whole edge looks like absolute crap. It looks like it was drawn in. Now, if I'm wrong, and there's a good chance that I am, okay, if it is in fact water flow, And this is nothing more than sediment coming off the mountain, off the hillside, or the crater hillside, if you will. If that's in entirely true, then how come you can see through it? And I'm going to show you that right now. You're going to see what looks like... Well, here's a good example. We could just look at any area. Just Let's just pop into this area for the hell of it. You can see what looks like if it was water right then and there, meaning it wasn't flowing, it was just standing water, it looks like you can see things underneath the water, or underneath this. So... Or is this simply nothing more than their manipulation? And remember I told you guys that when they put manipulation on, it's not really thick. It's just enough to overlay a picture so it doesn't look too fake. So is it possible there's things in between these so-called rocks that they're trying to hide, and this is their way they're doing it? Or is it simple sediment? And if it is sediment coming off from water, which could be a good possibility, then why can you see through it? I found something a little puzzling, and I think you guys will like this. It couldn't, I don't think it's very far from here. I found something that looked like kind of like a thimble, some sort. Like, here's a good example. Here's another area. Look at this. See how like, you can see this? what looks like a rock sticking out, but then you can see something all under there. See that? What does that? So that's why I'm questioning. Is it just nothing more than sediment from water washing it down? Or is it is it manipulation? Okay. I found something that looks like a thimble. And some other mechanical parts here. And I want you guys to get... I want your take on it. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. It's that hidden. In fact, I can just do this. Jump out. 
Should be right in the middle of the picture. The best way to see it. It should be right in here. Should be right there. Right in this area. Let's have a look. It is. Okay. Again, this kind of blew my mind. Oops. We went out center. Um, you can see something shiny right there. Right in this area right here. Now, it looks like this weird... It looks like it round. And it's kind of sticking out almost like this shiny thimble. That's not the only thing that's there. When you look at this, you can see like these little specks of white. But what you'll notice is other things on here. Now, let's get to that. Now, you can start to notice this thing is starting to pop. Now, check this out. You can see something right here. And it kind of looks like it has this rounded area with this weird perfect circle in the middle. And this looks like this weird kind of thimble kind of thing sticking out of it. And it sticking out this way and has this rounded top and has this kind of curvature base and has like again with this it looks like it's sticking out and there's multiple things in here you can see this white piece sticking out all of a sudden the, this piece is darker like if this was sticking out of this sediment if it is in fact sediment i can understand that but why can you see under it you should not be able to see through dirt unless it's a it's still standing water and somehow this picture is not the way it's supposed to be you know what I mean? If Unless it was more like this, um, we can go ahead and rotate this. If it was more like this, well, then you'd say, well, this is standing water, and that's why you're seeing underneath this. That would make more sense. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. It's the way they're showing it. It is nothing more than uh, the, in the inner wall of this endurance crater. So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in. And this is what I come up with, the final detail on this. Now, to me, guys, there's something mechanical under there. Now, I haven't checked this whole thing. And there's a lot to see, guys. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. So, let's jump over to the, over here, because this is pretty cool. See if I can find it again. Way on this side here. Whoops, let's not do that again. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Way over here, you can see what looks like... Let me go ahead and just throw a little blur into that just for the heck of it. We're going to have to wait a bit. But there's things in here that have shapes that clearly do not look like uh, just natural. I believe a lot of this is manipulated. I think there's a lot of things on this uh, hillside or this, you know, wall, inner wall of this crater. Um, and, of course, you guys can give me your take on it. Um, let's just see. Hmm. Got some other... Yeah, like I said, uh, you guys will also get the link to my buddy, uh, Coach Billy, uh, his site, the uh, Mars Discoveries and Solar System Anomalies. Got a lot of cool stuff. I mean, it's got an ungodly amount of members on it. And we try to, I'm, I'm actually the administrator on there, as well as Will's, what's up in the sky, uh, 37 up on Facebook. So I'm an uh, ad, uh, administrator on both. I share it with him. Um, you know, just to kind of share these things with people and uh, kick all the nut jobs off. Um, things like that. But anyway, if you were to go like this here, I'm going to show you this. We'll just use the burn tool. Well, let's not go that much. And you just, just color in over here. You can see what looks like some kind of weird U-shaped piece sitting right here. Let me go ahead and do this with a little mid-tones. Yeah, we'll just color in a bit. See so if we can get it to stand out a little bit more. And if you look right here, you can see what looks like this weird U-shaped piece Standing there, there's some kind of weird thing going down like this, like this, coming down. Now, this may not be super, you know, uh, quality because I'm actually making this video. So it's not going to be, you know, you're going to I mean you're going to have some kind of, uh, you know, video degradation and photo degradation because I'm recording it, uploading it, so on and so forth. So best thing to do is check these things out yourselves, and you're just going to be like, yeah, this is some, this is some crazy stuff in here. Uh, this stuff way back in here, which is on the very left. Check that out when you get a chance. Um, in fact, I can do this. Let me go to, and isn't well. This, yeah, like I said, this area, and there's another one way over here. If I can find it again, uh, it, it clearly does not look. Just back out a bit. Right here, this this looks mechanical to me. Right here, first of all, this whole area, this thing right here, but more importantly this 
It looks mechanical. It looks like it has this round piece, almost something like another round piece, but with no hole in the middle. Coming down, there's something crossing this way. There's something going across this way. I mean, just some things in here that are just... You've got this whole thing right here that's actually popping. Yeah, this... Just have a look at this thing, guys. Incredible stuff here. Um, just take a good fine-tooth comb to this thing and really look it over because you're just going to see things that you're going, oh, yeah, all right, that... I'm going to scratch that as natural because a lot of this is manipulated. It, it really is. This area right here. That, to me, has a lot of detail in it that clearly, even right up in here, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Look at the way these things are coming out. This right here, look at this. Boom, nice, smooth piece coming down. In fact, we can do this. Let's go back to that. Why don't we tone this down a bit, see if we can find anything here. Well, let's do this. Go to highlights. Let's tone it down a bit. See if we can find anything on it. Any kind of... Well, see if we can pull any more detail out of it, if you will. See, now there's starting to be a separation right here. Tone it down, guys. That's all. See it? Now you're starting to see more detail that clearly doesn't look like a set of rocks. And that's all there is to it. There's stuff hidden in this picture... This is the reason why I say this is not Earth, because if it was Earth, why would they go through the trouble of doing this? Why would they just say, hey, why don't we take a picture of a bunch of stuff we have here on Earth that's with the rocks, and then we'll go ahead and take all our time and have these team members uh, obfuscate it out. It, it simply doesn't make sense. And they would, it would be futile for them to do that. They're just wasting time and, of course, more tax money. Um, but you guys get the idea. I can just go ahead and make this more pronounced. I mean, come on. Look at this mess right here. Are you kidding me? Look at that. If that doesn't look like something that's pff, totally bizarre. See if we can't pop this out a bit. See if there's any other details any we can get to pop. And we'll go ahead and use the mid-tones. And then it's brighter. We'll pop out a little bit better. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take a leap here, and I'm just gonna say this is not natural. That's all there is to it. I mean, if you just take these rocks, do anything to these rocks. Watch this. And now I'm not saying every single rock in here is, a, is not a rock. I'm just saying that you're gonna see that a lot of this is actually manipulation. It's a light manipulation over what's actually sitting here. And I've been saying this for I don't know how long. And just look at it over. Just look this stuff over and you'll see it yourself. Look at this. It actually has height to it too now. Once you start going into this picture, start enhancing it, you'll start to see these things have more height now than they did. But again, just eyeball this thing. Get yourself a magnifying glass. Use the magnifier in your computer. Just have a look, man. So anyway, I don't want to keep it too long because I can go on and on and on with this picture. I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, I don't want to make it super long either, but let's recap. Hmm. Okay. Again, a picture says a thousand words. Check this out. Uh, blue sky. We already know that even if it doesn't show it in this particular picture, this shows right here that there is cirrus clouds. To me, these are like a fair weather cloud. Maybe, I think it's got to do with um, a slight weather change. This is the reason why you get these uh, vapor or water particles in these, in making these clouds. Uh, again, I say there's a, there's a water cycle on Mars. Uh, again, and I won't go into too deep about that, but when I talk about the, um, the polar regions, North and uh, South Pole, um, you got these polar regions that are ice. And every, uh, it's just like here on Earth, our ice caps almost disappear, and then they come back. Well, how do they come back? Moisture has to be putting them there. So somehow there's some kind of... And the same thing happens with Mars. Uh, the, the caps always come back the next year. Something's putting the, the moisture back. So, yeah. So anyway, guys. <laughs> again, these cirrus clouds. I question this here. Which to me looks like a... Uh, it looks like more of a negative than a frost. And I can zoom into that a little bit better. It looks more like a negative to, than a regular picture to me. I could be wrong, but you guys give me your take on that as well. And like I said, wispy clouds, nice day like that. Um, and then, like I said, getting into this, and then that little piece right here. 
Where did it go? See how hidden this thing is? This is unreal. Right here. Right there. And there you go. These, I think this is being hidden. I think this stuff is being put in here, in between here, to hide the actual anomalies, as well as the rocks are being dressed over to make them look like rocks. Again, give me your take on it. Let me back out. And you can see exactly in reference point. That's like almost right here, smack dab in the middle. Right here, if you want to cut this in half. Right there. If you want to go like this here, just cut it in half. Um, it's right there. And I can show you that again. Right there. Let me do this. Oops. So... You guys can see it's off to the, from the center to the left, and I just messed that up. Um, let me do this. I'm sorry. Uh, hit the wrong button. My bad. hate it when that happens. But anyway, so there you go. So is this all this gray stuff? Is it actually sediment coming off the hill? If so, why is it see-through? Is it a manipulation? It may be a combination of both, guys. But if this is, in fact, sediment being washed down, there's a lot more water on this planet than they're letting on. Blue skies, water running down, some of it may, may be manipulation, and this is the reason why we're seeing these little details sitting here in this area. Again, right there in this red circle. Um, you guys tell me. Anyway, I'm not going to keep it too long. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this picture and some of the lies, but this is just a cool picture, guys. This is neat. This is just a cool, altogether cool picture. But anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think about it. Um... And I just did the uh, uh, my sunset video. I said, is there something more to this sunset? It's not exactly verbatim how I titled it. Um, but it kind of goes and coincides with that. I mean, you can see actually blue in that atmosphere um, when the sun's going down. And of course, they, oh, they change around. Oh, it's only when it's just going down that you just happen to see the blue. Oh, BS. Come on. I think Mars is a lot like Earth today. The temperature's actually rising. Um, I don't know if I have the time to do this right here, but I'm going to see right now. Um, what the temperature is, in fact, on Mars. I don't know if this thing will pop up on my phone here, but we'll have a look. Uh, let me see, because it's, it's usually a few sols behind. Uh, just bear with me, guys. I'm just looking at this right now. Um, a couple days ago, it was like 57 degrees. Um, and now, according to sol 981, it was 46 degrees ground temperature. Um... Yeah, but it's been 57 and I think 60 degrees already. It's warming up just like here on Earth, guys. Um, and there was a the Kentucky senator said that oh uh, he was arguing with the people talking about global warming, and I think his his argument was, you know, you guys have your you know uh, data, we've got ours. Um, and he he goes, and the temperature on Mars is just like here on Earth. He just come out and said that. I'm like, oh okay. Um, I believe it's just as warm on that planet as it is here. Now, maybe not in my particular area, my like in my state, because it's been past like 90 degrees here. Um, so, yeah. But nonetheless, it is warming up. Anyway, guys, not going to make it any longer. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Share the video. Give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate it as usual. Um, got some more crazy things coming up for you. I've got kind of a busy weekend. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a, uh, a broadcast this, this uh, weekend. Um... It may change. Keep your eyes open for that. Uh, if not, I'm going to really try to do one for next week and maybe have one of the two other guys back on or, uh, you know, one of the other um, Mars Anomaly team want to jump in on it. They're more than welcome. If they want to uh, volunteer to do that, I'll be able to, I'll be happy to do that because, I mean, I just love the idea of having more than one person because you got more, you got two brains, you know, uh, more perspective, different ways they think and so on and so forth. So I like the idea of that. I like the idea of having multiple people on and it's just a cool thing all around and you guys get to pick both of our brains so or all three of us like we had on some of the broadcast anyway guys again thanks for watching always appreciated and i'll see you next pick